Live from Television Hill, this is WJZ Breaking News. A Baltimore city firefighter, or city officer rather, is fighting for his life after being dragged by a car during a traffic stop. And this afternoon, a heavy police presence in West Baltimore is believed to be related to that incident. Also, a person was just taken into custody. Hello, I'm Lynn Bowie. And I'm Sina Gabra Ab. Thank you for joining us on CBS News Baltimore or on WJZ TV. Right now, we know that police sergeant remains on full life support. Yeah, WJZ is staying on top of this developing story and is on the scene of another incident where SWAT teams have swarmed a home on Druid Hill Avenue. We're learning that that may be connected to the injured officer. Let's go live to Jessica Albert at the scene. We've had some new developments, Jessica. Yeah, Sina and Lynn, we just learned in the last half hour that the suspect has been taken into custody and this barricade situation here has ended. Now, earlier here, this is Druid Hill Avenue. This whole area was blocked off by SWAT teams, and you can see there are still detectives on the scene here right now at this row home. That was where the barricade situation was going on just a little while ago. And as we mentioned earlier, WJZ has learned from sources that this scene may be connected to a separate incident where a Baltimore City Police Officer was critically injured. Druid Hill Avenue shut down by SWAT. This is what's happening. This is what's happening now to the Baltimore. So this is never surprising to me. SWAT teams focusing on a row home here. WJZ has learned that this police activity could be related to this. A traffic stop on Park Heights Avenue in northwest Baltimore around 8 Tuesday night that critically injured a Baltimore police sergeant. Investigators say the sergeant was trying to make a traffic stop when the driver hit the gas, dragging the sergeant about two blocks and hitting another car along the way before escaping. The officer is on full life support at shock trauma. Baltimore police say they have good leads on the suspect. They're asking for prayers from the community. The officer was doing exactly what we want them to do out there being proactive, making sure citizens are being protected. We pray and we ask you for your prayers for one of our sergeants who is recovering. And we are working to learn this afternoon more information on both incidents, this barricade situation and the incident that critically injured this officer. Police tell us that we could have more updates later this afternoon. We are going to stay on top of this story for you, and we will bring you the latest updates on air and online on WJZ.com. Reporting live in Baltimore, Jessica Albert for WJZ.